hi guys welcome back to another youtube video it's your tutor disha today we'll be looking at the topics needed for your upcoming csec biology examination and today i'll be starting with nutrition and food chains what is nutrition students nutrition is the process by which organisms use food to maintain their lifestyle and for organisms to maintain their lifestyle they have different modes of nutrition there's the heterotrophic mode autotrophic mode and the saprophytic mode let's talk about these modes of nutrition a little bit more there's a bug oh my gosh now in the ecosystem we have organisms that do not rely on other organisms for food we call these organisms autotrophs and autotrophs they make their own food through a process called photosynthesis what is photosynthesis again students hint hint photo mean light synthesis means to make something in photosynthesis carbon dioxide and water are converted into carbohydrates what is the name of the carbohydrates again glucose brilliant when the plants make these carbohydrates they store them in the form of starch next we have heterotrophic mode unlike the autotrophic modes the heterotrophs here they can't make their own food so the heterotrophs rely on the autotrophs for food hence we say heterotrophic nutrition encompasses organisms relying on other sources of food or other organisms to support their lifestyle for example humans are heterotrophs because they rely on plants for the energy to support their daily lifestyle next we have saprophytic nutrition now in this mode of nutrition organisms here called saprophytes obtain their food from dead or decaying organic matter and a primary example of this is bacteria decomposing dead plants or animals now let's move over to plant mineral nutrition now plants need nutrients for their growth and development and if plants lack the necessary nutrients for their growth and development then they will become stunted or even die students what are some of the nutrients needed for plant survival that's right plants need nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium magnesium and the list goes on let's talk about some of the functions of these mineral nutrients nitrogen is needed for growth and protein synthesis phosphorus is needed for root development crop maturity and seed production potassium helps the plant to withstand stressful conditions magnesium is important for chloroplast production and iron is needed for chlorophyll synthesis and photosynthesis now it is important that plants have all the necessary minerals for their growth and development or plant deficiencies may arise what are some of the plant deficiencies seen if the plant lack one or two nutrients when the plants lack nitrogen there is stunt growth or chlorisis of the leaves when the plant lack phosphorus 
some of the leaves will become dark green or even fall off the plant. If the plants lack potassium, then the tips of the leaves will become yellow. That's that for plant mineral nutrition. We spoke about some of the nutrients needed for plant growth. And what would happen if the plants are deficient in these nutrients? But what about animal nutrition what are some of the nutrients that animals need for their growth and development well we need macronutrients like protein fats carbohydrates and we need micronutrients like vitamins and minerals we need the carbohydrates for energy and a source of fiber we need proteins to repair our body tissues. We need fat to help us to store energy. Don't forget water. Water is an excellent solvent and we need it for all the metabolic processes occurring in our body. For the micronutrients, we definitely need vitamins. And the vitamins are involved in the metabolic processes in our body. We need minerals for our enzyme functions, nervous transmission, and for the development of our bones and teeth. But how can we test for these nutrients that we need for our growth and development in their food sources? Well, approaching our examination, we need to know the type of chemical present in these nutrients. The reagent that will bring an observable change and we need to know the results of these food tests. Now let's talk about the digestion and absorption of nutrients. Digestion is the process of breaking down food mechanically or enzymatically in the alimentary canal into substances that can be used by the body now there are two types of digestion there's mechanical digestion that involves the mechanical breaking down of food into smaller pieces and this is achieved through chewing and there is chemical digestion and this is the breakdown of food and this is achieved with the aid of enzymes chemically breaking them down into their constituents. Let's talk a little bit more on chemical digestion. Chemical digestion is achieved through the work of enzymes. And what are enzymes again? Enzymes are proteins that catalyzes chemical reactions in our body. And some of the enzymes found in our body include amylase, Amylase is found in the mouth and in the pancreas, and they help with the breakdown of carbohydrates. Lipase, which are responsible for the breakdown of fats. Proteases, which are responsible for the breakdown of proteins. And it's important for you to note that carbohydrates are broken down into simple sugars like glucose. Proteins are broken down into amino acids and lipids are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol. Now recall, we just spoke about plant mineral nutrition and what were some consequences if plants lack some of these mineral nutrition. The same thing applies for animals. When animals lack the necessary nutrients needed for growth and development they become deficient now that's it for nutrition these are some of the topics needed to master the nutrition portion of the exam if it does come 